Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your master of ceremonies, Nova War. And I want to win a game. We absolutely want to win Got a game. Got ass kicked last time. Usually we're, we're like one out of two when we do these sit Yeah, we usually win about 50% of these things. Uh, at least we're, we're trying to make it that way. Uh, but this time, you are actually, as you can see, you are, you are able to use Protoss. We're here. We're searching for a game. And uh, this one is uh, something that I like to call Carrier Has Arrived. Self-explanatory. I think that's self-explanatory. I think you know what that means. Carriers. I think that means carriers only. And we're going to pay a little homage to uh, to the carrier, the most useless unit in the uh, game of StarCraft 2. Yep. The one unit that is, uh, or one of the units that will be removed for Heart of the Swarm, uh, because Blizzard is just too damn lazy to actually balance the thing. Um, it is a very difficult unit to make work effectively. Because you need a lot of them before they actually become useful. And then they still can't attack and move at the same time. Dude, I'm going to own these carriers. I actually, I don't think I've used a carrier since beta. No, I actually can, I can, I can say with confidence that I've only probably built, except for if I had to do it in a mono battle or something like that, which by the way, I have yet to see somebody get carriers in a mono battle. Rutch? Rutch? I think he means ro rush or roach. You're talking to everybody right now. Good call. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to give that away. No. And just yeah. Just tell them error. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Don't embellish and be like, hey, I'm gonna get carriers. Just say I'm just gonna get some air, and that's it. Do you remember when we first were playing Brood War, and uh, this was still the time when we were outside playing Trackdown, otherwise known as a million other things, uh, for those of you listening at home. Cowboys and Indians. Um. um Hide and seek. It's a, it's an advanced. Tag. It's like a base version of hide and seek with lots of people. Yep. I, yeah, but anyway, and we were out there. We were we were uh, we were playing like crazy. I give him the expo. Um and and we were trying at the time, or you were trying at the time, not to play a lot of Starcraft uh -huh. for whatever reason. And the only way that I was able to convince you at about 10 o'clock at night when we were outside playing track time, so after we were done for a while, I would say, I'd walk over to you and I'd say, hey, Joe, let's just go back and play, play some Broodboard. You're like, no, man, I don't want to get, get, so get some pressure. Let's, let's play some Broodboard. No, no, man, I, just, I really can't. I just want to go outside. So I just want to, but Carrier has arrived. And that one line GG. was GG. That just sparks that little memory in there playing top versus bottom. Unlimited money maps, fastest money possible. Good times. Maxing out 200 for 200 carriers. See who could do it first so that the other side wasn't able to build interceptors because the map was maxed out. I remember that too. It's funny. That was the, the map, worst. The map would actually get. It's like if if you wait too long to max out, you're the map screwed. would just be. Yeah, the map. You, the map couldn't take any more. Uh, oh, you know, any good. more. Uh, any more units. Any more structures. Anything else. And then it would just. A, a sentence actually would come up and say. Uh, we'll get some lag here, yeah, but a uh, thing would come up and just literally say, um, Matt maxed or something like that. Yep. Um, and you were screwed. You couldn't build any interceptors or anything else. Uh, and, uh, and you just, you know, you were, you were, you were kind of screwed. Cause then at that point, everybody would see that and go, Oh, we have to kill some stuff. And then the other team would just come down and roll you in a 4v4 and it would be epic. GG. I'm surprised that, or I wonder if it has. I haven't looked at a lot of custom games on StarCraft 2, but I wonder if, if uh, Fastest Money Possible has made a comeback, or or Fastest Money Possible no, top they, first no, bottoms and no, stuff like absolutely that. Absolutely, it's there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, those were fun games. Four v four, top first bottoms. Epic games. They were always epic. They always played out similar. You know, it'd be somebody. You know, they'd, they'd all everybody would funnel into the very middle of the map. And it would just be this giant epic battle in the middle. And your computers were like a Pentium 3. What? Are you serious, man? Oh, no! Now you have to play Protoss with Carriers. And play Zerg. Well. Or ignore everything and only use his resources. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it that way. Thanks, bro. Well, that was unexpected. A little bit. I feel like he might have just seen you and been like, "No, nah, I don't want to play with this guy." Yeah. 
<laughs> that was it. You're like GG. He might have been the lagger as well. That's true. That's entirely true. He could have just dropped entirely. <laughs> Can you give me a free game, bro? I don't want to be in a game 2v1. That's not cool at all. Okay, we leave. <laughs> After kill you, good English. What? What? No, please! Not like this. Can I get a mothership? If you, uh, dude, if you think you can do mothership carrier, you go right for it, bro. At this point, I'll give it to you. Uh oh, uh, looks like you don't have a lot of time. Hey, you know what? I got spines, bro. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of Zerglings and Marines, bro. That's not even right. Oh, your carrier didn't even finish. Oh. Come on in, you punk ass bitch. Oh, it's unfortunate. Quick, spines everywhere! Oh, dude, that carrier was so close to being done, you I need know. to build that pylon. It was close. No, no, I mean a pylon by the thing that's the carrier is almost done. Oh, dude, my Nexus is still here. Yeah. Oh, did you cancel that carrier? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I thought, he, I thought they were going to kill it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Damn it. I can't catch a break here. No. Persistent buggers. Mudder ship. Ah! Mudder ship has arrived. What's up, guys? Yeah, mother ship has arrived, bitch. <laughs> oh, geez, no gas. Why are you doing this to me? Sick larva inject, bro. Uh, nice. All right, you get enough for a carrier. Not enough energy. Oh, we're actually gonna see a carrier? Possibly, unless they just keep bringing in units. Well, what is that purple block floating above your uh, your expand there? Fine. Oh, that's a friggin' no, no, it's purple. It's the enemy. Ooh, interesting. So that's where they are. They're literally just sitting right there. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact I'm still alive, though. Yep. Definitely. Don't like the fact that you are hurting so bad for gas right now that we can't really build carriers. Oh, we're gonna fix that. Unfortunately, we're up against a Terran. So, there's gonna be Vikings everywhere. Probably. I like a challenge, though. Come on, 350 minerals, man. Yeah, no, that's messed up, isn't it? And then you have to build all the interceptors. You 
and then they still get melted. Like you, you have to have. So they're, they're basically as expensive as a mothership. Yeah, no, it's it's retarded. They're yeah. useless. Yeah, they really are. They're completely useless. You must construct additional pylons. Oh, did you get the upgrade at the uh, fleet beacon for these things? Yeah, I don't know if it finished though, because they killed. Yeah, that didn't finish. Cause... Oh, it sucks. You must construct additional pylons. You have not enough minerals. I have to get some cannons. Oh, geez. Really? They got roaches? They're brave. So they just want all marines and roaches. All day. You must construct additional pilot. You have not enough minerals. Oh, supply block. Uh. All this supply block. Your probes are under, you have not enough oh, cloak banelings. You have not OP. Minerals. Interesting game so far. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not saying, oh, here they come. Here we go. 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 Oh, don't get greedy now. There we go. Yeah. There goes half of the Marine Army. Oh, Hydra. Alright, we lost, yeah, lost the, uh, Lost the fleet beacon, unfortunately. All right, now we're talking. We've got we've got tech now. Just macroing up all this macro with these zergs right now. Oh, freaking! Pylon box, the it's worst. Just, it's just so hard trying to keep up with two races. Oh, I know, it's rough. Good news is you get some money flowing now. Yeah, I'm going to uh, straight up just mass muta here. And uh, just go mass carrier. Seems like a very uh, standard build, really, in a Protoss and Zerg pairing. Carrier and muta seems to go hand in hand. Straight up. Good news is you have lots of energy, so you could vortex if you absolutely needed it. Imagine if I vortex right on top of uh, his base. I wonder if I can vortex his banglings in there. You can vortex, but you can you can warp. I them. mean, uh, or, recall, oh, recall. recall. I don't sorry. know. I don't know if you can recall your partner's units. That's one of those things that I guess you don't really actually want to try practice. No, Lord, here they come. Get that mothership back. No, no, Vortex, Vortex is not going to work. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, dear. And they're actually going to go in there to protect themselves. I think that's just about all she wrote, Captain. You must construct oh, we got some Muta on the way. But I think your supply block with the Zerg. Oh, dear. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's not even right, dude. That's so unfortunate. Base is under attack. There we go. Now we got some Yudas coming. Oh. Oh, no, don't lose those. Does he still want to have Stim? Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, geez, they're just A-moving in there. Oh, Hydra's. Oh, Hydra's everywhere. Ah, there's no hope. There's no hope, Mr. Maximus Black. Oh, Marines. Oh, I feel so bad because these guys are not great. There's still no stim on those marines. Uh, 
<laughs> hey, you know what? It was a valiant effort. Yeah, I'm mean, sitting on so many minerals. It was a valiant effort, unfortunately. Just couldn't get the carriers up. Just didn't have the opportunity, and your partner left. Oh, it hurts. These guys are terrible. I know, it does. I hate losing to guys like this, but... Hey, oh. when you only can go carriers... Uh, I held off, like, three waves. Yeah, no, it was, was a good, it was a good effort. It was a good effort. It was a good effort. Partner just kind of shit the bed there. Just left. Sour. Or disconnected, one of the two. Yeah. Damn. It's okay, it's okay. I we mean, only got to see, like, three, four carriers in that, in that whole thing. I know. I know. It hurts. But they're such bad units. You just can't make that work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, 0 and 2. 0 for 2 this week. That's okay. Next week we got 0 this. 0 for 2. I'm just waiting for the sea of sanded vaginas to flow into the <laughs> into the, into the the comment section. No, oh, this whole series is going to hell. Why didn't you choose my idea? No. Sandy Vadene. Well, ladies and gentlemen... That's it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week, and hopefully we're two for two. Peace out. Peace.